All those in favor of making the nominative slate the selective slate say aye. aye. Congratulations, Jerry. You are the new president and chairman of the board. It's so important that, that we keep thinking forward, that uh, we keep coming up with new ideas, that, that we don't be satisfied. Um, I think uh, if we stand still, that the competition's going to pass us, and uh, that's, that's definitely not what I'd like to have happen on my tenure. You know, we have to realize that we are the biggest beef breed in the world, and we have to embrace that. And I don't mean from an egotistical standpoint, but I mean we do have to realize that we are leading the beef industry, and, and as we go, the industry is going to go. So, so decisions that we make uh, in the Angus breed are going to impact the way the whole industry goes. And that's, that's a burden, but it's a tremendous opportunity. One thing that comes to mind immediately is, is the Angus Link program. Um, I think that, that if our commercial customers uh, are not profitable, that we're not going to be profitable. And, and with Angus being a huge part of the beef, the beef industry, the beef industry is going to be in trouble. And so, so, you know, Angus Link has allowed us to, you know, share our EPDs and the genetic values on down to commercial level which allows feed yards to buy cattle that are higher marbling and that they can feed in a certain way. And, and that's, I think that's elevated the, the whole beef industry to a whole new level. So, you know, that's a place where I think that, that we've really made an impact. I think that as we move on down the road, uh, you know, EID is, a, is, is something that's out there and that we need to finger in to the association. We need to finger it in all the way across the industry. And I think we need to take the lead on that. We need to make some decisions and maybe have uh, people follow us a little bit rather than us react. The big trends probably, especially in the real recent past, have been droughts that have you know, made supply go down, uh, which ultimately will hopefully make feeder calf prices go up. Uh, and you know, with 70% plus of the Angus, or the, the cow herd being Angus, uh, that, that makes the price of Angus bulls and females and CAB all uh, be elevated also. The Angus breed is, is at the top of the pyramid. Uh, the cattle industry has some really good years ahead of it, I think, uh, in the near future. And I'm excited to be in the position where maybe I can uh, help keep us moving in the right direction.